Hi. Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Paolo. Uh, I would like to make an appointment on Friday, uh, Dr. Hendricks. Yeah, yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So, Friday, 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 Friday. Oh, for the book. Um, all right, uh, how about next week then? Yeah, Monday's fine. Uh. Sometimes making appointments and bookings is a complicated process and it's too messy. Yes. And how to do it better? Hi everyone, I'm Pavel and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your online booking system in WordPress. So at this stage you have two options. First, in case you do not have your own WordPress website so far, just find the create website link that is available in the description of this video, hit on that and then automatically install the WordPress and the plugin for the calendar. The option number two, install the plugin manually. From your WordPress dashboard, uh, go to plugin section and then search for Kenza Calendar. Install the plugin and activate it. After the plugin is activated, go to Pages section, hit on plus sign and search for Kenza Calendar. So here it is. But before you can start using Calendar, you need to set up certain parameters um, so make sure that the booking can work on the website. Once the client is making an appointment online, it redirects them to cart and checkout pages. So right now, go to products page and create your product. Fill in all the required information, save it, and copy the ID number of the WooCommerce product. Once you have it copied, go back to your created page of the calendar and under the general tab on the right, find the product ID section and paste the product ID there. Another important setting here uh, is the calendar range. You need to set up the beginning time and the end time uh, where your calendar is available for bookings online. Once you have the range set up, you need to create the time slots. So what are the time slots? When visitors of the website uh, go to the calendar page and click on certain date, they see the preview of the available times when they can make the actual appointment or booking. So in order to have those time slots, you first need to specify them here. Just set up the amount of slots you want to have in this calendar and then set up the time and its availability and all other settings that are available here to so make sure that it's available in certain dates and it's not available on certain ranges as well. So once all the settings are down, you can experiment with the uh, overall look and feel of your calendar. You can set up the colors, you can make it more narrow or you can make the buttons round or the square or just a little bit like rounded corners to have them rounded corners in order to match your design requirements. So once all that is done, hit publish or update button on the right and hit the preview link. So this is how your calendar looks like right now and it can accept bookings online. In case you have any additional questions, feel free to hit me directly in the comment section below and I will definitely help you. And also know that this calendar is free. I developed it personally for you and I hope you really enjoy using that. And if you find it useful, definitely hit me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye.